Good morning to all of your faces. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, it is 5.18 in the morning. Just got to work. Um, yeah, I got up late again. I've got to stop doing this. I, I keep saying to myself, I'm going to go to bed early. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get into bed. And uh, yeah, I do all of that. But I end up staying up and watching YouTube. And yeah, it, 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 it's... Oh, this is a bad habit. <laughs> Guys, it is Thursday, so that does mean it is shoulders day in the gym today. First, we got to go, and do, go into work, do real life stuff I don't really want to be doing. But we got to, we got to earn money. So I'm going to go in, go and get this shift done. We're heading to the gym. I'm not too sure if Ball Jr. is joining. We'll see, because he did have football training last night. So we'll find out. But it is shoulders day. I'm also thinking of switching up the routines a little bit in the gym, so that's something to work on over the weekend. Once I've worked it all out properly, I'll be putting it into my actual schedule and my routines. So it, it, it it's it's nice to have a bit of a mix up, especially when you know you can add extra bits in and then still do the full workout over so many extra days. Because I do go in for six days a week, so it makes sense to chop it up, put it all into different days, and add extras into it at the same time. So you get, it basically you're putting in more effort with less work, if that makes sense. Yeah, work harder, not smart. Uh, work smarter, not harder. Not harder, not smart. You know what I'm trying to say? Work smarter, not harder. So yeah, I'm gonna go in, go and get this shift done, and I'm gonna head over into the gym after. Back again! Sorry guys, I've actually been messing around with the camera so you can actually see his face a lot better. Hey. It's not doing me any justice. Look at those bloody crow's feet. Jesus Christ, boy. <laughs> nah, it's good. I'm tired. That's what I was all down to. But yeah, I've been messing around with the settings. Look, it's out. It's actually really good. Yeah, the yard being a bit, it's changed up into about 4K. Yeah, so I'm going to mess around with him a little bit more. So. 4K region bar! At some point, you know, it'll be, uh, I don't think it'd be a good idea that they'll see my real bad hairline then. <laughs> <laughs> this is the yeah. dress hats all the time to cover it. <laughs> yeah, the, the gym. Um, we're going to be mixing a few things up in the gym today, which Paul Jr. doesn't actually know about properly. I've told him that we're going to be doing that, but he doesn't know what. So, uh, yeah. Wish him luck.
one to ten. How much did you enjoy that session today? Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Some parts were a killer, but so I was I was about to say I swear it. about to say um, uh, the exercises we done. What was your favourite? My favourite one that we've got recorded. We did do a few extras after, guys. We didn't record because we're practicing them. We want to make sure that we get the right technique, the right movement before we actually put it up on there. So we don't want to give you shitty information or shitty guidance on how to do it. Favourite one. I think it's got to be the bicep one where you hold the... Didn't record it. That's what I'm saying. Anything that we recorded. Anything we recorded. So I went... Uh, that's from the um, lat raises. Lat raises. lat raises. Two variations of them. You got standard lat raise, and then you had the leaning lat raise. Yeah. We did try the cross leg lat raise as well, and that was, that was horrible. <laughs> um, don't, I don't. We don't think we recorded that one. No. But we did try that one. That was horrible. It was good, but it. it it's going to take a while to get used to that one, I reckon. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I always like doing the front raises. Yeah, I like the front raises as well. I think my favourite today was the... Um, I, it's a new one that we actually put in today, which is the um, seated double arm, uh, double shoulder press. Yeah, that one's good I would well. say that's probably my favourite one today. Yeah. Um, I think my least favourite... I would probably have to say the leaning cable lateral raise, that just because hard. that was just that was because it, again it's because it's new. I kind of knew how to do it because I used to do them before, but I used to do it with dumbbells and not a cable. So that was something a little bit different. I'll definitely say that was probably my least favourite today. That's my least favourite, but out of it all, I enjoyed every single yeah. bit of it. It's a session is ten out of ten. Yeah. Like just like you said, like we did do a few extra bits as well, but we didn't record them. We will be seeing more bicep work done. Oh yes, more bicep, tricep. And um, we're going to have new compound movements in there. So there is going to be an actual squat movement in there because they've actually got a proper squatting bar in there now. And the extended front handles. Should have seen my face the day that like, we was in there and it was there. I was like, oh my god, yes. what, what, what? And I was like. <laughs> They've got a squatting bar with extended front handles. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, I think we better go and make a move, yeah. aren't we? All right, see you in a bit, guys. Bye. Back home, guys. Showered, changed. Food, eaten, relaxing, and of course, Ouija Brothers. And this one is actually Ancient Ram Inn. Not too far away from where I live. I believe it's about a 40-minute drive, so not too far. A little bit biased because, obviously, it is within my location of where I live. So, this one was actually really interesting. I absolutely love this. Guys, you know I love the Ouija Brothers. If you haven't, this is how it is spelled on the on their YouTube channel. It's right there for all of your faces. If you guys are interested in the paranormal or like any sort of different things to watch on YouTube, go and check them out. They are absolutely incredible. Now, one of the main reasons why I decided to put this one on is because a colleague of mine was asking me what sort of things I like getting up to because he knows that I make videos for you guys and he knows about my gaming channel and I told him and uh, he was telling me a little story about the Ram Inn. Very, very interesting. So he was saying to me back in the 60s when they, when it was open and before it was bought and turned into a home, you used to be able to go in there and buy yourself drinks. He was telling me his uncle was known to be a little bit of a prankster, always messing around and everything. And just this one day, he was in there, having a drink, and say, say like this was the bar, all of a sudden he just went, bang. Everyone started laughing, they just thought he was just joking around, but, no. So, I'm going to ask him, when I next see him, for his uncle's name. And when we go to do this investigation at the ancient ram inn i'm gonna i'm gonna do a call out and see if we get any responses because that would be pretty amazing to be fair but yeah that's uh that's a little story i thought i'd like to share with you guys i thought that was pretty interesting it's a 
it's a small world about people knowing these locations as well and they've got stories about it themselves it's, it, it is brilliant it is absolutely brilliant speaking of stories and known locations my road bottom of my road there is one house right on the very corner that is haunted and most nights you see a little boy sitting in the window in the stairwell that is some creepy creepy stuff just imagine owning that house what how would you feel that's weird uh i've also oh that light's a little bit uh too full on there we go guys i'm just gonna talk like this here for you block out that light because that was very bright <laughs> no i'm joking i'm gonna move i'll move i'll move i'll move, I'll move. there we go um Yes, um, I'm planning on going to um, Gloucester Cathedral next week to do a walk around. And if you remember one of my previous vlogs, there has been some famous, like, real big shows and films that's been filmed there, like, especially with, like, the hallways of things like Harry Potter, Doctor Who. Um, I can't... That's the two that mostly come off to the top of my head. Harry Potter and Doctor Who. They've been filmed there. Me and Ball Jr. is going to do a bit of a walk around like what we done last time. Apart from, I will actually record it this time. Because the last time we went was around about February or March this year. And we had the Knife Angel there, which was, that was amazing. Um, Knife Angel, guys, a little bit of information about it. Knife Angel was basically all the knives that was being confiscated around the UK. And it was formed into an angel. And uh, it was, a lot of it is, it might, a lot of it was confiscated weaponry from youths, adults, you know, um, shouldn't be carrying them on the streets, guys. It's not big and clever. It's not smart. You know, it's it's stupid. It really is stupid. Um, but there was also knives in there that was handed in by family members, um, youths themselves as well, other adults in the fear of safety of those living with them because of certain situations. So that was absolutely incredible. I'll try and have a look for a picture. I'm pretty sure I've got one. If I've got a picture, I will put it at the end of this clip just so you guys can have a quick look at it. it it was absolutely amazing there was loads and loads of people came from all around the shire there just to uh come and come and see it it was it was really good so uh yeah that's that's a little bit of information for all of you so of course like i said i am watching ouija brothers i am gonna go and relax it is friday tomorrow last day of work and i got a special vlog for you all planned on sunday me and Giggleberry, we got a road trip, and I will tell you more about it on the actual day. Hi! Yeah, I forgot to record this morning, because he was running late again. <laughs> this is becoming a bit of an issue. Actually, no, it's not, because I'll be on night shifts next. I actually would sleep pretty damn well on night shifts, so... Wait, we're in the summer. Hi. Yeah, scrap that idea. <laughs> no sleep for three months! <laughs> so, uh, Winter, good. hurry up and come back. Oh yes. So, uh, chest day. Chest day. Get that big pump going on today. Oh, really, I'm absolutely aching from the last couple of days. But you get it done. So we do. It's Friday. That's the way. Ha 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 ha! I like it. Ha 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 ha! On that note, guys.
scale of one to there, one one to one one to ten. Take two. Scale of one to ten, how do you rate that today? Ten. Yeah. Yeah. I do as well. I got a new PB. <laughs> I think we both did on that actually. I was yeah. um, the last one that you see on there, guys. The uh, cable, cable um, high to low flies uh, end up pushing what was it, ten point two on each arm, which is that's a that's a hell of a lot. I done six, then dropped it down to seven point nine for the last two. You managed to do eight on the full on that full amount which is yeah. you can see it in your face it was a hell of a struggle i know it was favorite exercise today favorite exercise today the one i got my pb on the uh the high to lows yeah yeah worst worst i'm trying to think now shit 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 it wasn't really any what was worse. No, it was all good. It was all good. I'll tell you my favourite today. It was hitting the 50kg on the bench, three sets. That was my favourite today. Yeah. And I think my worst... I know I was just saying, I don't think there really was any worse ones. I think my worst, I will, the one that I still need to work on the most, is the low to high yeah. cable fly. Yeah, that's definitely it's just moment. getting it up and yeah, getting getting the full movement on it. Yeah, that was quite. A... Hello. <laughs> 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 if I think it freaks people out when people are just talking to their phones, it, it, uh, I think it just freaks them out. But um, it's Friday. Friday in the Saturday, Saturday Sunday, Sunday what? what? It's, it's Friday, Friday again. Saturday, Saturday Sunday what? what? <laughs> Yeah, so um, we, we have got some plans. We are actually going to be playing Warzone. Warzone. Guys, if you know, I, I have... If you've watched, watched my gaming channel, I have given up streaming Modern Warfare 2. Um, pretty much in general. That now and then, playing things like Warzone or DMZ is not that bad. Just because the lag on it now is toned down so much because there's not so many people on there. So it's... Now and then, it's all right to jump onto it. Yeah. So, squad night. Right, <laughs> well, guys, we're gonna go and let's go. We're gonna play some water. Ah, food first, though. Guys, nothing else gonna be added onto this vlog. It is Saturday. I'm actually going out to spend the day with my parents. Um, it's a little celebration. You'll be able to see what we're celebrating on Tuesday's vlog, which I will share with all of you. Yeah, so uh, like I say, guys, nothing else is going to be added on to this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Drop a like rating. Ding dong that notification bell all the way on. So you get all the latest content coming directly to you from your subscription box on YouTube. Until then, guys, enjoy yourselves. And I will see you on Tuesday's vlog.